Hey everybody, so in the last two videos we created a dome structure in Blender and we also created a um, hangar like structure and in this video I will show you how I'm gonna export this um, structure into GLB file and how we're gonna upload it into the cargo station so it will appear on our land plot okay now a few words for proper placement on the, on the plots so I hope everyone is familiar with the axes with the X and Y X will be the red one Y will be the green one let me bring up my little uh, this is an old picture of cargo station map this is how originally the cargo station map would look like the green one the first number for the plot when you look for plots on jpg is the x number and it starts from left or from uh, west negative and it goes to positive to east the y starting uh, negative on the bottom on the south and going positive as you go north and in blender unfortunately it's the uh, opposite way so if you would uh, so right now i got the x axis uh, negative here and y uh, negative on the bottom exactly as it's on the map and you would place it this way the door would be on this side actually so it is a little bit confusing but once you get used to it uh, it's uh, you know that's how it is for cargo station I always turn this so that I have the X on my left and Y on the bottom and that's exactly how it's gonna show up on the map when you place it so now I got the door facing uh, west and it will be facing west when you deploy it so this is the way you have X and Y plus all right on the left and bottom also you gotta be careful you want it to be exactly in the center uh, so for that I usually hit the Z button here and it automatically switches me uh, facing the other direction so so I'm just making sure it's centered in the middle and let's say you have it like two plots over and now you're gonna be on somebody else's property already if you're planning to do something different than have it right in the center you can go into our discord and uh, go into cargo station compatible assets and here you type your question and uh, baggy pants is taking care of this channel and he will tell you what to do or the best way to to do it before i export it though i'm gonna run the cleanup clean up unused data blocks Purging one unused, yes, and deleted one data block just to keep it clean. And I also want to make sure right now I have seven objects, which is very low, there's nothing in there, so I can leave it. But if I have more objects, I might want to uh, combine join things, right? I got right now, I got glass. I got frame and I got the floor and theoretically I could join the floor together with the frame and even together with the airlock and then I would only have instead of seven objects I would only have like five four objects so now we're gonna export it as GLTF which is GLB file and now because we did some cuts and stuff like that we need to hit include 
and we need to highlight visible objects that's very important because if we don't do that then we would see let me cancel this if we don't check that then we would see this we would see the cube here we would see the cube in the glass as well like that this is what we would see one more time file export GLB and I gotta hit include visible objects and also geometry include apply modifiers so those are two things every single time I export the GLB file I hit visible objects and apply modifiers and then I can hit this remember export settings so it will remember it for next time export GLT file again you can check your height limit when you go information and you go to scene viewer that's where you can check your height limit when you upload your your file into the viewer let me upload the file here I have blue dome these green balloons are the trigger points for the airlock so you can see that my airlock is correctly configured and it should be working and if your avatar touches these green balls the airlock will go down and here we can check show player you can see the player how big is a little tricky to use there and you can also check show door and show boundaries so this will show you if you're within the specified boundaries to leave that 1.5 meter on the edges and it will show you if uh, your structure is within the limits as far as the height goes and, and stuff like that so as you can see I'm right on the edge of the boundaries so it's it should get approved so now that we have that we can go to the Dropbox and dropbox.com and we're gonna upload a file and again we gotta find our blue dome blue dome GLB open I'm gonna upload it to my folder that you specify or create hit upload it's been uploaded already it's fast when the file is not too big it's fast okay blue dome here it is so now we're gonna click this copy link super easy before I was using Google uh, Drive and in Google Drive is a little more uh, tricky because uh, you have to uh, enable sharing so basically you need to uh, you need to do more clicks to enable sharing otherwise uh, nobody will be able to use the file basically but here is just more user friendly I have one land in right in here so they'll be facing the road so this will be a perfect location cardastation.com me so you gotta hit account it will ask you to connect your wallet my wallet's already connected so I'm gonna hit land so I'm gonna select my single land plot this is gonna be my blue dome so what I like to do I'm, I like to put a value here so I'm gonna do my blue dome 
update and here we have choices pre-built scenes which is just the flag and the NFT display we are anticipating announcements about uh, finally being able to use more stuff should be here very soon so that for now we're gonna load our own here you gotta paste your URL of the GLD file paste here we go dome and uh, URL I don't have any web uh, links attached to it so I'm gonna leave it empty uh, later on I can add uh, let's say a TV and I can um, add a website uh, if I get close to the TV it will ask me if I want to get into the website that's like on the TV or laptop or whatever you, your choice and it will take you to the website so we're gonna confirm and it's there we can double check here manage this dome currently built on land thanks status is in queue to be tested they gonna test it and they they will pass the inspection it will show on your, in here that everything is fine and we can go look inside of it and explore it so now we're gonna jump into the verse now this is kind of funny because uh, in the middle of the video they actually just upgraded uh, the website so it looks a little different it looks really nice um, so yeah this is the account uh, that we uh, placed our build here for that uh, plot and now uh, next day uh, it got approved and this is our build so it means it's it's uh, sitting on our plot so we're gonna go check it out uh, visit this land and while it's loading I will show you the new vehicles that they will be dropping in just a few days by the time this video comes out it will be probably already out so uh, but I, I found it really really cool we got a four people up to four people vehicle for exploration we got a fast bike over here for racing and fast uh, travel on the road and we got the tracker that can go off-road some uh, solo explorations pretty neat there's gonna be only 1000 trackers really good numbers 750 bison and only 250 pegasus here we go we're on the land already so i'm gonna finish this up real quick now i'm very excited about this carga station motor club you're basically gonna start if you own one bike and one rower you can join the carga station motor club all you need is one bike and one rover so that means bison or 1s rover and you're gonna become the mechanic <coughs> if you own any three types of vehicles own any three vehicles okay so it doesn't uh, you could have three bikes or one bike two rovers whatever you're gonna become engineer crew chief you gotta own every single vehicle and principal We'll see what that's gonna be. That's gonna be uh, probably uh, if you win some game challenges and you're gonna become a principal, most likely. Some, yeah, very good stuff. Super excited about this. All right, let's look at our build here. Here we 
go. I'm gonna get jetpack so we can see it from the top. So you can see uh, my one-way mirror works really, really cool. Works really good. When you have the sun across it, you can see a little through. Because this side is darker. When I go on the other side, that's where you can actually see the color and everything. And it's hard to see through. So very different from uh, each angle is very different. <coughs> All right, let's check it out from the inside. So I got the lighted door. Now, as you can see, the two meters is not tall enough so i'm gonna start doing all my uh, doorways 2.5 meters but it works and i can see i got plenty of room here i still can't wait for uh, the lighting system to start working so we can add lights on the inside it's gonna look so much nicer with the light and hopefully very soon we can uh, change into indoor avatars um, and we can hang out maybe put up a disco ball and have a little disco here put some music on the music nfts are hopefully uh, on the way as well so we can play music inside our structures all this is coming all right, now we're gonna go check out uh, my other build that we built in the first video. That's right in front of the uh, central, not far away. Right in here. Let me jump out of my car. There we go. So you can see I did similar thing. I put a <coughs> I made the windows darker on the bottom. Left the windows on top clear gives a just a little bit of privacy you can still see through a little bit let me see if i can get through yes i can get through the other side as well and same thing because it's from uh, this is the darker side you can see through a little better and you can see these uh, neon lights from the other side you can't really see those lights because it's uh, in direct sunlight you just see white lines but those are the same color actually as on the other side so yeah, you can see the difference uh, where you situate your uh, build so I wanted to make the door on facing the west to be facing the uh, central the community hub and let's uh, check it out on the inside. See, I got this uh, doorway a lot taller. I put about 2.5 uh, meters, I believe. And when we're inside, see, this is what happens. You can see kind of because you're kind of looking on top. So that's why when you walk into any structure, it's a good idea to press uh, first person view. So you hit uh, C go so you go through and it's much better to go this way all right and this is just 
I basically made these uh, benches and these shelves all from adding uh, cubes and then I just scale the cubes down make them longer and just place it in one on, you know like this that's how I build things it's a uh, it's a lot easier Uh, this table, I believe, uh, I did, again, I did uh, a cube and I put a, another cube into it and I just scaled it and, and uh, did the cut, like you're doing the, the doorway or, or you're cutting uh, holes. So I made a hole into a cube and made a table out of it the walls I make uh, same way I added a cube scale the cube and uh, got myself a wall right, so same thing with this table I did the same thing this is a cube that I cut with another cube and then I uh, assigned different material for for this top in uh, edit mode right, here we have a TV or like a smart TV because we are uh, actually on a website of Raccoon Syndicate website uh, since they did the last update we lost uh, our web interactions but bef before you got close to it and it would the window would pop out and ask you if you want to uh, interact with it and by hitting yes it will take you to their website actually so uh, they will probably fix it in the next build uh, in a few days and I have another sliding door here and a couple beds so the raccoons have a place to sleep and then you can go upstairs and this couch I actually um, downloaded from the uh, internet it had uh, lots of triangles, it had like 20,000 triangles it was just the size was enormous it was huge so we had to uh, lower the amount of triangles uh, so it may not look as pretty as it looked before but now I believe it's got around 2,000 triangles which is still a lot but a lot less than before so now it uh, loads up uh, way faster before if I had the original couch here that I downloaded uh, it would probably take a couple seconds to uh, load up so if somebody would pass by they wouldn't even see the building that's why we want to build a uh, low poly all right I'm gonna sneak in one more tip and that's for the pictures so let's say I'm gonna add um, wall so I'm gonna add mesh a cube and I will scale it to make a wall scale it some more and then now I'm gonna move it up so just touching scale it I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it same uh, color picture we're gonna add image and we're gonna do image as plane so now we're gonna find our picture Okay, let's see. Let's say I want to put this uh, black red skin for the rover. 
so I'm going to see how big file it is. And it is size one, over 1000 bytes, one megabyte. So that, that is a lot. You want it to be about 100 kilobytes. So we got to make it smaller, 10 times smaller. So I'm going to open it with Affinity Photo. That's my preferred um, photo editing software on the Mac. I'm going to export. And here it's 1920 pixels times 1080 pixels. So I'm going to lower it to 1000. Hit enter. So now it's 1000 times 563. And you can see we already lowered it down significantly. So now I'm going to do quality and I'm going to adjust it to about 80. And here we go, 87 kilobytes. So that's perfect. I'm going to hit export and I'm going to leave it skin black red one. So I know which one it is. All right, so now I'm going to find that the uh, file skin black red one here. So now, um, because we don't have the light, we need the picture to be emitting light. So we got to hit emit. We can set up a strength. I always leave it at one. Um, and we got to uncheck the alpha because uh, if you leave the alpha checked, um it kind of creates a copy and you will have a lot more files so uncheck uh, use alpha otherwise you're gonna be eating up a lot more space now import image as plane and here is our image i'm gonna raise it up so i can see it and now i gotta rotate it 90 degrees and 90 degrees to the left so minus 90 now I'm gonna drag it up in the middle and I'm gonna scale it so it's nice and big bring it forward there down here we go so this is a quick way to add an image okay so that's all I got for today thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later